Today I wanted to talk about what not to wear on holiday. So essentially the clothing items that you should avoid if you don't want to look like a tourist on your next trip abroad. These tips should hopefully serve as a bit of a guide for the items that you may like to pack instead so that you can really enjoy your next vacation and also be less of a target for pickpockets. The first thing that I would say to avoid is flashy items of clothing or things with big logos on them. The reason for this is that I think they can make you a prime target for pickpockets, especially if you're wearing something like a Chanel bag, which I think is really Really identifiable as a more expensive luxury piece. We we're wearing a t-shirt that has something like Gucci or Balenciaga or something like that emblazoned across the front. If you're going to a European country where there are pickpockets in tourist areas where there are high concentrations of people, then this is really going to make you stand out like a sore thumb. I also find that logos from a Places like Disneyland also just really reinforce the fact that you're a tourist and they aren't really the types of clothing that locals are going to be wearing on a daily basis. I do also have a tip around design shopping as well. One thing I would recommend doing if you are looking at investing in some luxury items on your holiday is to ask the sales assistant before you leave the store if they have a plain shopper tote that you can put all your belongings into so that it's much more discreet that you've purchased something from that store. Otherwise, I would recommend taking some bags of your own that you can put the items into so it's not obvious that you have bought a very expensive purchase. The next thing that I would avoid wearing if you don't want to look like a tourist, especially when traveling in European countries, is athleisure wear. I know it can be really tempting to wear clothing that is super comfortable, which gym gear always is. Yoga pants are so comfy and stretchy, but I would say uh, swap those out in favor of something that is really smart looking but still feels comfortable on so I go for anything in a really natural fiber that is going to breathe particularly if you're on a summer vacation uh, but definitely leave the workout clothing at home that's the kind of thing that particularly in more European countries is reserved just for the gym or for doing jobs around the house the next thing I would leave at home are uncomfortable shoes and in particular stiletto heels especially if you're going to an older European city they tend to have a lot of cobblestones which are very difficult to navigate if you wearing a very high heel that is not giving you a lot of support. If you were doing a lot of walking in particular, you really want to make sure that the shoes that you're wearing are providing you support but are also comfortable and aren't going to give you blisters at the end of the day because you're probably going to be exploring it day after day after day. I'd actually recommend having a couple of comfortable shoes that you can swap in and out because depending on the style of shoe, it will apply pressure to a different part of your foot. The other thing that I would recommend with this is making sure that you have worn in the shoes adequately before you go on your holiday. There's nothing worse than taking a pair of really nice new shoes which you believe will be comfortable but actually you find out when you get to your destination that they aren't at all and having to find an alternative that will work for your trip. In a similar vein the next thing I would also say to leave at home are flip flops or candles unless you're going on a beach holiday. These are the kinds of things that you should really only be wearing to the beach not when you're walking or exploring through a city. I would recommend just getting a simple pair of flat sandals maybe something with a few straps across the foot so that it's secure when you're walking around a lot. Unless you're going on an adventure holiday the next item is one I would also leave at home and it is a backpack. Maybe unpopular opinion but I personally find that they just make you more of a target for pickpockets and theft in general just because you've got a bag on your back and you could have someone jostling behind you and not realize that they're actually just making their way into your bag to find your purse. It's happened to my mother-in-law before and I know from my own experience it's just better to be safe than sorry. So I personally like to carry a crossbody purse, something that I can kind of wear underneath the jacket if it's a little bit cooler or that I can just make sure is slung across my body with zippers so that it's closed up and secure. Otherwise, I also like a tote bag that I can put underneath my arm, but again, it does need to have some sort of fastening or a zipper so I can make sure that it is shut and no prying hands can make their ways in there. The third pair of shoes which I would leave at home are the dad sandals. Again, dead giveaway that you're a tourist. So Tavers, which I know are quite popular right now, but still I would just say leave those at home along with Crocs and Birkenstocks. Just go for a really nice classic simple sandal. Or I feel like if it's something that you would wear at home out and about then it's probably appropriate for your holiday too. I have said before that a holiday can be a good opportunity to mix up your style and play with some new silhouettes however I do think that it's best to just go for clothes that you feel comfortable in and that you would normally wear at home. Again I feel like this is the best trick to just really blend in rather than looking like you've gone out and purchased an entire resort or vacation wardrobe just to wear at your destination because I feel like that can make you stick out a little bit like a sore thumb. On that 
that same note, I would avoid wearing anything too revealing. So think little crop tops with barely their shorts. Just wear things that are really comfortable. So if you're in a hot destination and you're just finding things are sticking to you a little bit too much, a really nice cotton gauzy blouse, sort of like the one that I'm wearing right now, would be a really perfect option. It's keeping you covered up and protected from the sun, but because it's a natural fiber, it's going to breathe and allow your body to get the ventilation that it needs while still looking chic and put together. The next thing that I would leave at home is anything that is high maintenance. There is an exception to this rule. If you are going to a wedding, obviously you're going to need to make some room in your suitcase for a really beautiful dress and maybe you'll need a couple of options. But I find that having items that are easy to launder rather than ones that are dry clean only is your best bet for your holiday, especially if you're going on more of a longer trip that's spanning a few weeks as opposed to one or two weeks. I'd also avoid taking any extremely bulky items with you unless you absolutely need to. So perhaps you're going on a holiday somewhere where it's quite cold, then yes, you definitely need to make sure you've got your big scarf, you've got big jumpers, and you also have a nice coat. But if you're going on a holiday to a more summery destination, then you may want to consider just keeping everything really light. The reason why is because you will otherwise be dedicating a large part of your suitcase to one item, which you may only wear once or twice. I always find those bulkier pieces tend to be more of a statement so something that isn't going to be as versatile as a wardrobe basic and yeah it would just allow you to have a bit more room to fit in some other essentials and maybe provide you with a few more outfit options on your holiday. The last thing I will say not to do is to wear a camera around your neck. I always feel like this is such a dead giveaway that you are a tourist and it's something I personally also avoid. I have purchased bags in the past which have allowed me to carry my DSLR camera with me so that I'm not without it and I can still get those great holiday shots but it doesn't scream tourist. So I got one tote bag which zipped up up the top, which I thought was fantastic. I'm gonna link the brand below because it's not coming to me right now, but it had all the different compartments so I could also carry different lenses with me and you wouldn't know that it was actually a camera bag because it just looked like a regular handbag. If you have a smaller camera, then this is probably not going to be so much of a concern for you, but it's just something that I would avoid and say is a big no-no when it comes to traveling. So that is everything that I would avoid wearing when on vacation. I hope that you enjoyed this video if there's anything else that you would avoid wearing when you're on holiday let me know down in the comment section below if you are new here and you want to see more videos from me then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys next time with a brand new one see you soon bye